brand tech here where tech is made simple google chrome like most web browsers allows you to create any number of given profiles so you can enable more than one profile as many of you may know now yeah just to demonstrate i have my default profile and yeah i've created a secondary profile calling it work and um, that just makes as an example it easier for me to differentiate between my home and my work browsing now to delete a profile in the Google Chrome web browser, it's actually quite simple to do. And to delete a profile, we just head back to the profile menu. This time we navigate to the gear icon, which is called Manage Profiles. We click on that. And here we get all the profiles that we have enabled in the Chrome web browser. Now, if you want to delete a profile, just something to take note of at first. You cannot delete a profile which is currently in use. So you need to select another profile before you can delete a specific profile. So just take note of that. Now to delete a profile, we just click on the three dotted menu, delete. And yeah, it says this will permanently delete your browsing data from this device. And that browsing data is your browsing history, passwords, bookmarks, autofill data. Now, if you don't want this browsing data to be deleted, before you actually delete your profile. Maybe you want to use that data at a later stage. It's actually quite simple to back up. So just to take a quick look in this video as to how you can delete your user profile in Chrome and also back up your browsing data before you delete your profile. So to back up uh, your, uh, your Chrome user profile browsing data, it's actually quite simple to do on Windows. And to do this, we just navigate to our file explorer and head over to your C drive or your installation drive. Now, before we navigate to all the different folders, we need to make sure that we have our hidden items enabled because we are gonna be dealing with hidden folders and hidden items. And after you've done that, um, just navigate to users and then head over to your uh, user folder, double click on that, and then head over to app data, which is a hidden folder. Then go to and navigate to local, Google, Chrome. Now, yeah, at first we get our user data folder where all the user data for Chrome uh, is currently found. And um, if you want to back this up, just obviously just right click, copy and paste that onto another drive or into a different location. And that will back up all of your user data uh, for the Google Chrome web browser. Now, if you want to back up individual profiles, it's actually quite simple to do. And to do this, we just double click on the user data. And yeah, we get my default profile with all the user data in that folder. I can obviously then right click, copy and paste that onto another drive or another location. And my work profile is called profile four in this case, and I can do the same. There's all my work profile data contained in that um, profile four folder. And I can just copy and paste that into another location and onto another drive and back that up. And um, then to delete our data, after we've done that, it's quite simple to do. We just head back to the browser, to the profile picture, head back to our manage profiles, click on the three dotted menu, delete, and there we go. And that browsing data and that profile has now been permanently removed from the Chrome web browser. And at a later stage, if you want to recreate that profile, what you can do is just head back to the same locations as I did describe in this video. And then what you can do is you can individually copy and paste your default profile, user profile data, or uh, your secondary or any other profile data, as I did show uh, earlier on that you created, like my work profile. Or you can copy and paste and overwrite all of your user data by just copying and pasting that into this location. And that will then restore all of your user data, all the, all the specific individual user profiles as shown in the video. Um, if you want to restore that at a later stage. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.